Well, Hurricane Dorian has been uh, Dorian has been wreaking havoc on the Bahamas for over 25 hours, swirling in place, causing massive flooding damage, and now some new reported fatalities. While the strength of the storm has been downgraded, it is still a major hurricane, and authorities are warning residents along the Florida coast to expect dangerous conditions. Nadia Romero is in Jensen Beach with the latest. After days of fluctuating forecasts, new projections, and dire warnings from officials, Dorian is slowly creeping its way toward the U.S. mainland. Even if it stays off the coast of four to seven feet of storm surge, I mean, that, that, that is deadly. Dorian has shown its potential for massive destruction, pounding the Bahamas for more than 24 hours, leaving buildings in ruin, residents without homes. Basically, just debris everywhere, um, down from my room to upstairs. Downstairs, everything is completely destroyed, wiped out. And some families without loved ones. I am not 100% certain when we came across our neighbor's house, um, they told her that they told us that they passed away, but we are not certain if anybody came to rescue or take them the bodies from the home. The home isn't there anymore, so we don't. We don't know. The storm is expected to brush along Florida's east coast before heading north, bringing the potential for significant damage and life-threatening storm surge to Georgia and the Carolinas. Because this storm is anticipated to pick up speed, time is running out to get ready. For now, residents in Florida have done all they can do to prepare. Some have evacuated. Others are hunkering down and waiting it out. A lot of people left Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So. Um, the ones that are sheltering in place, they know the risks, and um, we're we're all in this together. In Jensen Beach, Florida, I'm Nadia Romero reporting.